This tutorial is going to show you how you can use the My Story app to allow students to create their own storybooks and video presentations through this app. So if we search for, if you just search My Story, it will pop up. It's the My Story Book Creator for Kids, the free version. There is a paid version that costs $4.99. And the only difference is that the free version limits you to one author and two books. But in the books, they can be as long as you want. There's no page limitations. And so the free version is really useful still. So we're going to open the My Story app. And when, you, when it launches, you can see that we have one author already. If you wanted to delete the author, you click edit, and then it says swipe right with two fingers to continue. And then I can hit the X above the author that appears, and that will delete my author. So if I do that, it warns me, I click confirm, and then so now I wanna add an author. So if I click add, I can add myself back and then when I click on myself I can add a book. So it has the book title and I'm going to write a book about farm animals and I can pick that I want the cover to be purple and say done. And now I see a blank screen and then I have some icons at the bottom. So starting on the left hand side you can see a cover page and no subtitle. So if I wanted to create my cover page, uh, this is what I'm looking at right now. So if I wanted to write, click the pencil icon that is the second icon from the left. And if I want to I can select pencil, a paintbrush, a marker, or the eraser and delete. And I'm going to select the widest width of the pencil and I'm going to write farm. And then I want the marker. farm animals. So now if I go back to my button on the far left of the book icon, now I can see that is my cover page. So I can click below that and say add a page. This page is going to be called pig. So now I'm going to go to that page and on in the middle you can see I can change colors. So I could go to pink and if I wanted to write pig with my finger, I can also click the picture icon that is to the right of all the colors. And at the bottom you'll see I have the pictures. So I can, I could pull in a picture that I've saved from Google of a pig. I can use the stickers at the top. So here's a sticker of a pig. So I can insert that and then just using my two fingers, I can move it around the page. I can enlarge it. I can duplicate it. So if I wanted to have a little pig family, I could do that. And I could switch it around, flip it. So I have the little baby pig with Martha, mama pig. If I click that, picture button again on the right hand side I can also type so I could type the word pig instead of writing it with my fingers and then I can enlarge I can turn it I can click the edit button and go back and if I wanted to write piglet I have that next to Piglet. I can do that so I can draw arrows. This is the pig and this is the piglet. 
and then I would record. So on the far right, you see the red microphone button. So if I click that button, this app does not give a countdown, it just starts recording. So I'm going to click the record button and then it turns into a stop button and that's how you know that you're recording. So right now I'm recording. You won't be able to hear me because I'm doing the screencast over top of the app, but I could record the adult pig is to the right and a baby pig is called a piglet. Pigs say oink oink. Then I hit the stop button and play and again you can't hear it because I'm recording over the app but you can play that and then it previews what your recording was for that page. So if you're happy with it you can go on. So if you notice in the top right corner there's an undo and redo button. So if you want to undo what you've just done, redo what you did, you can do that. And then um, there is a plus sign in the middle of the page on the right. So that just adds a page. So if I want to add a page, I could do another farm animal. So if I go through and I'm trying to, oh, there's a sheep. Okay, a sheep's a farm animal. So I'm going to do another page about a sheep. And then I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to make my little baby sheep. And a baby sheep is called a lamb. And then I'm going to draw my arrows. So this is a sheep and a baby sheep's a lamb. And then I can record the adult sheep is called a sheep and the baby sheep is called a lamb. And I stop recording. And then if that's, if I'm happy with my book, I can be done. So in the top left corner, I click done and there's my book. So I can add a second book. Once you reach two books, you have to delete a book to in order to record any more. So I can go to edit, swipe up with two fingers to continue, and then I can delete my book if I want. So I don't want to delete it, so I'm going to click done. And then I'm going to go to my farm animals book and I have these options, view story, edit story, or share story. So if I view my story right now, it will turn it into a movie and it will automatically put it in my photos folder of my iPad. And if I, I can go back and edit my story, add things to it, fix things if I, you know, spelled something wrong. And then if I click share story, swipe right to continue, if I share it as a movie, an EPUB book, or a My Story book. So I'm going to share it as a movie, and it says building your movie. And this is going to also turn it into a movie and send it to the photos folder on my iPad. So once the movie is built and depending on how long it is and how much content you have in your book, it might take a little while. So it's still building my movie. So we'll just wait for that. going a little bit slow probably because I'm doing the screencast alongside using the app so what we can do is I can show you some examples of some movies that I have made previously so I go into my videos folder I have this movie that I have made about other farm animals so I'm playing it it does have sound but you can't hear it with the app with the screencast running over the app so I've made my pig, I have a bunny, and I'm telling about these animals and the different sounds that animals make. So 
So that's my example of using the My Story app. So it does save it on your um, it does save it on your iPad so you can have students you know submit that through Google Classroom if you use Google Classroom you can have students upload it to Google Drive and share it with you that way um, usually the files are too big to attach to email um, but you can have students put it on their Google Drive or Google Classroom and share it with you that way. And these are really cool videos to share with parents. And, um, you know, you can include a link to the video when you submit, you know, share out your classroom newsletter or if you have a classroom Facebook page, you can... Um, share the videos that way as well. So these are cool things that, that parents really like to see.